Okay, so did you also know that when you sleep is important as how much you sleep? Yep, timing is important. Research shows when you sleep matters as much as how much you sleep to maximize the body-mind repair windows and help reduce food cravings and overeating. Make it a part of your lifestyle to get to bed by 10 p.m. That's the latest, you guys, 10 p.m. That means in bed, lights out at 10 p.m. and on your way to La La Land. You're not playing games. No, no, no. You're not watching Netflix. You're not catching up on office work. Your head is on the pillow and your eyes are closed by 10 p.m. That's really important. And, it, it, you know, research has shown that that time is actually important. And it, it, it makes a big difference as to opposed to like going to bed at say 1 a.m. and waking up at 11 a.m., right? Is very different to your body and your biology and your physiology than going to bed at 10 p.m. and getting up at 7 a.m. So it might be the same length of time, but it's very different to your physiology. And we're gonna get into that now. It's amazing how powerful this one simple habit can be to your overall mood, your energy, your ability to control cravings and willpower, just getting to bed by 10 p.m. lights out. If you do nothing else as a result of this episode, just do that, okay? Because believe it or not, going to bed at 10 p.m. and waking up at 5 a.m. is more preferable to your body and your optimal hormones and your circadian rhythms than going to bed at 12 midnight and getting up at 7 a.m., like I just mentioned. Biologically, it's different to your mind and body. Both instances would be seven hours of sleep, but your body clock, your natural internal rhythm clock that you are biologically predestined and born with that likes to run the show, but unfortunately gets overridden. The former example is in harmony with the natural rhythm, rhythms of all of life, while the latter is not. So when is just as important as how much. <laughs> 